Good evening, my besties and amores. Divine indicators recognizing signs of breakthrough according to biblical scripture. This is Tia Semay Pangilia. Welcome to today's vlog where we will explore the signs of breakthrough according to biblical scripture. You see, life is full of challenges and obstacles, but the Bible provides us with guidance on how to navigate through them and recognize when we are near a breakthrough. So in the Bible, we see numerous examples of individuals facing trials and tribulations only to experience a breakthrough when they least expect it. So one key indicator that a breakthrough is near is when we are faced with seemingly insurmountable obstacles that test our faith and perseverance. Take Moses, for example. He faced the Red Sea with Pharaoh's army closing in. But through his unwavering faith and trust in God, the waters parted, leading to a miraculous breakthrough. Similarly, David faced the giant Goliath, but with God by his side, he emerged victoriously. Another sign of nearing a breakthrough is when we exhibit patience and perseverance in the face of adversity. My best is the Bible teaches us that those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. Isaiah 40 verse 31 It is during our moments of waiting that we often experience the greatest growth and transformation. Faith and trust are also essential components in recognizing signs of breakthrough. The Bible tells us to trust in the Lord with all your heart. Proverbs 3, 5 Knowing that He has a plan and purpose for our lives. When we surrender our fears and doubts to God, we open ourselves up to the possibility of breakthrough. In the book of Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 is a timeless verse that underscores the necessity of trusting in God's wisdom and guidance. As we continue our journey in recognizing signs of breakthrough, according to biblical scripture, one foundational principle stands out. Trust. In Proverbs 3, 5, is a powerful reminder of where our trust should lie. The verse says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. So this simple yet profound scripture encourages us to place our full confidence in God even when we don't understand the circumstances or the path ahead. You see my besties and amores, trusting in the Lord means believing that He knows best and that His plans for us are good even when they don't align with our own plans or timing. Trust in action. Let's take a moment to reflect on what trusting in the Lord looks like in action. Think about Abraham who trusted God's promise that he would become the father of many nations. Even when he and Sarah were well beyond childbearing age, 
despite the improbability from a human perspective abraham's trust in god was rewarded with the birth of isaac genesis chapter 21 verses 1 through 3 similarly mary the mother of jesus trusted in god's plan when the angel gabriel announced that she would conceive by the holy spirit despite the potential of social stigma and personal hardship mary responded with faith saying i am the lord's servant may your word to be fulfilled luke 1 38 these stories remind us that trusting in god often requires us to step out in faith even when we don't see the whole picture it's about leaning on his understanding and not our own so how to cultivate trust so how do we cultivate this kind of trust in our daily lives here are a few practical steps number one daily prayer and meditation spend time each day in prayer asking god to help you trust him more fully meditate on the scriptures that reinforces his promises and faithfulness number two study the word deepen your understanding on god's of god's character by studying the bible the more you know about his nature the easier it becomes to trust him third reflect on past faithfulness take time to remember and reflect on the times god has been faithful in your life you see journaling these moments can help you recall his goodness when you face new challenges fourth surrender control actively practice surrendering your worries and plans to god trust that his plans are better than your own even if they don't make sense in the moment fifth engage in community surround yourself with a faith filled community of believers that encourages and supports you lean on others who can remind you of god's promises and help you stay grounded in your trust encouragement and prayer trusting in the lord with all our hearts is a journey that requires requires daily commitment and faith as we wrap up okay today's vlog let's take a moment to pray and ask god to help us cultivate deeper trust in him our all right best is let's bow our heads in prayer our heavenly and gracious father lord jesus we come before you with humble hearts recognizing our need for your guidance and wisdom father god your word in proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 instructs us to trust in you with all our hearts and not to lean on our own understanding lord we ask for the grace to do just that help us to trust you more fully father god especially when we face uncertainty and challenges lord jesus please remind us of your pa past faithfulness and the promises in your word when we are tempted to rely on our own understanding father please draw us back to the truth that your plans are higher and better than ours teach us father god to surrender our fears our doubts and plans into your hands believing that you are working all things together for our own good lord jesus surround us with a community of believers that uplifts 
and encourages us and let our lives be a testament, a living testament to your incredible faithfulness. Father God, we also thank you for the breakthrough that are on the horizon. We trust that you are with us every step of the way, guiding us and preparing us for the blessings you have in store. Lord Jesus, we pray this in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. My besties and Amaras, as we journey through life, let us keep our hearts and minds open to the signs of breakthrough that God places before us. With faith, patience, and trust, we can overcome any obstacle and experience the breakthrough that we have been seeking. Now let's dive even deeper into the topic of recognizing signs of breakthrough according to biblical scripture. Bestest life can often feel like a series of challenges, but rest assured, the Bible offers profound wisdom to help us recognize when we are on the verge of a significant breakthrough. So let's dive in. Let's start by looking at some powerful examples from the Bible where individuals encountered significant breakthrough. Story of Joseph. Joseph's life was full of trials. From being sold into slavery by his brothers to being falsely imprisoned. Yet Joseph remained faithful and patient. So his breakthrough came when he was elevated to a position of power in Egypt, ultimately saving his family and many others from famine. Genesis chapter 41 verses 41 through 46. So this story teaches us that our darkest moments can precede our most significant breakthrough. Here's the story of Job. Job endured immense suffering, losing his wealth, health, and family. Despite his despair, he remained faithful. In the end, God restored his fortunes, giving him twice as much as he had before. Job 42 verse 10 Job's story reminds us that steadfast faith in the face of suffering can lead to divine restoration and breakthrough. Facing opposition as a sign of breakthrough. Now let's discuss some signs that indicate a breakthrough is near according to biblical teachings. When you're close to a breakthrough, you might face increased opposition and challenges. In Nehemiah chapter 4 verses 1 through 3, Nehemiah faced intense opposition while rebuilding the walls of Jerusalem, but he persevered and completed the task. Remember, the enemy often fights hardest when you are closest to your breakthrough. Absolutely, my besties. We will incorporate Nehemiah, okay? Especially when you are in the face of opposition. Here's how you can integrate this scripture. Okay, my besties. So as we continue our exploration, of recognizing the signs of breakthrough, it is important to understand that often significant opposition can be a sign that a breakthrough is near. So one powerful example of this can be found, like what I said in the story of Nehemiah. In Nehemiah 4, verses 1 through 3, says when Sanballat had 
heard that we were rebuilding the wall, he became angry and was greatly incensed. He ridiculed the Jews and in the presence of his associates and the army of Samaria, he said, what are those feeble Jews doing? Will they restore their wall? Will they offer sacrifices? Will they finish in a day? Can they bring the stones back to life from those heaps of rubble? Burned as they are, Tobia, the Ammonite who was at his side, said, What they are building, even a fox climbing up on it, would break down their wall of stones. Nehemiah faced intense opposition and ridicule while trying to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. His enemies mocked him and his people, questioning their ability and resolve. Yet this opposition was a clear indication that Nehemiah was on the path, on the right path, and, and that a breakthrough was imminent. Despite the radical and threats, Nehemiah remained steadfast. He prayed, Hear us, our God, for we are despised. Turn their insults back on their own heads. Give them over as plunder in a land of captivity. Nehemiah chapter 4 verse 4. He continued to work diligently, trusting that God would see them through. So this story teaches us a valuable lesson. When we face significant opposition, it can be a sign that we are on the verge of a breakthrough. The enemy often intensifies his efforts when we are close to achieving what God has called us to do. Nehemiah's perseverance and faith in the face of adversity led to the successful rebuilding of the walls, marking a significant breakthrough for the people of Jerusalem. So, if you find yourself facing ridicule, doubt, or intense challenges, take heart, my friends. These may be signs that you are on the brink of a breakthrough. Stay faithful, keep praying, and trust in God's plan for your life. As we wrap up today's vlog, remember, my besties, that facing opposition can be a, a powerful sign that a breakthrough is near. Stay strong in your faith, just like Nehemiah did, and trust that God will guide you through. Another one, my best is, is divine promptings. Often God will place a strong conviction or vision in your heart. Like Paul, who received a vision to go to Macedonia. That can be found in Acts chapter 16 verses 9 through 10. These divine promptings can be a sign that God is leading you towards a significant breakthrough. Another one is unusual favor and provision. Breakthroughs often come with unexpected favor and provision. In 1 Kings chapter 17, Elijah was fed by ravens during a drought and later by a widow whose oil and flour miraculously never ran out. So these instances of divine provision signaled that God was orchestrating a breakthrough. Encouragement and application. My bestest and Morris, as we navigate through life's challenges, it is essential to stay encouraged and keep our eyes on God's promises. 
So here are some practical steps to help you stay aligned with God's will and recognize His signs. Stay in prayer. Constant communication with God helps you stay attuned to His guidance. So read the word. The Bible is filled with wisdom and encouragement that can help you recognize God's hand in your life. Seek wise counsel. Surround yourself with godly individuals who can provide support and discernment. Maintain an attitude of gratitude, thankfulness. My besties can shift your perspective and open your eyes to God's blessings and signs. Remember, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. Trust in his divine timing and remain steadfast in your faith. My best is no matter what you are facing today, remember that God is always with you, guiding you toward your breakthrough. Stay faithful Stay patient and keep your eyes on Him. All, all right, may you walk in faith and experience God's abundant blessings. Another one, my best, is the role of spiritual warfare. Another essential aspect to consider is spiritual warfare. So the Bible tells us in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12, that our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the power of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. When you are close to a breakthrough, you may experience height, you know, heightened spiritual attacks. So this isn't to discourage you, but to make you aware. Recognize these moments as signs that you are on the brink of something significant and arm yourself with the full armor of God. Ephesians chapter 6 verses 10 through 18. Another one is the importance of community. Community plays a vital role in recognizing and achieving breakthroughs. In Proverbs chapter 27 verse 17 says, as iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another, surrounding yourself with a supportive, faith-filled believers, okay, can provide the encouragement, the wisdom, and discernment you need. They can pray for you, offer godly counsel, and help you see God's signs um, clearly, okay. So, personal testimonies. Personal testimonies can be incredibly powerful and encouraging. So, I'd like to share a few stories from individuals who have experienced remarkable breakthroughs through their faith. Meet Sarah, who struggled with severe anxiety for years. So, she felt hopeless until she began to deeply engage with God's word and prayer. One night she felt an overwhelming sense of peace as described in Philippians chapter 4 verse 7 as the peace of God which transcends all understanding. This marked the beginning of her breakthrough leading to a life free from the chains of anxiety. The other testimony, there's John who faced financial ruin so he remained faithful tight, consistently, and trusted in God's provision. Suddenly, he received an unexpected job offer that not only restored his financial stability, but also aligned perfectly with his passion and skills. So his story echoed the promise of Malachi chapter 3 verse 10, where God says, Test me in this and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessing that there will not be room enough 
to store it. The role of worship and praise. Worship and praise are powerful tools in recognizing and ushering in a breakthrough. The story of Paul and Silas in Acts chapter 16 verses 25 through 26 is a perfect example. While imprisoned, they prayed and sang hymns to God. Suddenly a violent earthquake shook the prison, opening all the doors and loosening the chains of all the prisoners. Their worship set the stage for a miraculous breakthrough. When we worship, we shift our focus from our problems to God's greatness, creating an atmosphere ripe for breakthrough. The other one is practical. To prepare for a breakthrough, there are practical steps you can take. Make prayer a daily habit. James 5 verse 16 says, the prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Engage in fasting. You see, fasting can heighten spiritual awareness and sensitivity. Jesus fasted for 40 days before beginning his ministry. Matthew chapter 4, verses 1 to, 3, 1 to 2. Okay, and the other one is stay connected to the word regularly reading and meditating on the bible keeps you grounded in god's promises sometimes god has asked us to take specific actions or let go of something now obeying promptings can lead to breakthrough maintain a heart of gratitude gratitude opens our eyes to god's blessings and keeps our hearts soft and receptive. Remember, breakthroughs often come when we least expect them. But God is always at work orchestrating every detail for our good. Stay faithful, stay hopeful, and keep your eyes on Him. Until next time, may you walk in His abundant blessings and experience the breakthroughs you have been praying for. Symbolic signs and dreams. God often communicates through symbols and dreams. In the Bible, dreams played a significant role in revealing God's plans and signals a breakthrough. For instance, Jacob's dream of a ladder reaching to heaven. Genesis Chapter 28, verse 12, was a sign of God's promise and assurance. Similarly, Joseph's dreams foretold his future rise to power. Genesis chapter 37, verses 5 through 9. Pay attention to recurring symbols or dreams that resonate with your spirit, so as they may be God's way of preparing you for a breakthrough. So the role of humility and repentance are essential in aligning ourselves with God's will. The Bible tells us in Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. A humble and repentant heart opens the door for God's grace and sets the stage for breakthrough. Another one is divine timing. Understanding divine timing is essential. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1 reminds us there is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. Sometimes we might feel ready for a breakthrough, but God's timing is perfect. And He knows the best moment for it to happen. Trusting in His timing 
requires patience and faith, believing that He is working behind the scenes for our good. The power of declaration and affirmation. Declaring and affirming God's promises over your life can pave the way for breakthroughs. Proverbs 18 verse 21 says the tongue has the power of life and death. Speak life into your situations by declaring God's word. For example, if you're seeking healing, declare by his stripes, I am healed. Isaiah chapter 53 verse 5. If you need provision, affirm, my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory. Philippians chapter 4 verse 19. These declarations align your heart and mind, mind with God's promises and invite his power into your circumstances. Chapter 53 verse 5. If you need provision, affirm, My God shall supply all my needs according to His riches and in glory. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 19 Intercessory prayer This is a powerful tool for breakthrough. When we pray for others, we stand in the gap and invite God's intervention. James chapter 5 verse 16 tells us the prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Gather a group of faithful believers to pray with you. Their collective faith and prayers can create a spiritual synergy that brings about significant breakthroughs. Living a lifestyle of gratitude and worship keeps us in a constant state of readiness for breakthrough. First Thessalonians chapter 5 verses 16 through 18 encourages us to rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Cultivate an attitude of thankfulness in your daily life, recognizing God's blessings, both big and small. Worship doesn't have to be confined to a church service. It can be a daily devotion or a daily expression of love and devotion to God. Reflection and journaling. Reflection and journaling can help you track your spiritual journey and recognize signs of breakthrough. In Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 2 says, Write down the revelation and make it plain on tablets so that a herald may run with it. Journaling your prayers, dreams, and God's promises allows you to see patterns and progress over time. It also serves as a powerful reminder of God's faithfulness in your life. Encouragement from historical and modern examples. Throughout history, both biblical and modern figures have experienced profound breakthroughs through faith. Consider the story of Martin Luther King Jr., whose faith and perseverance led to significant strides in civil rights. Or the story of Corrie ten Boom, who despite, despite enduring the horrors of the Nazi concentration camp, found breakthrough and forgiveness through her unwavering faith. These stories remind us that God's power to bring about breakthrough 
transcends time and circumstance. As we wrap up today's vlog, I encourage you to remain steadfast in your faith and attentive to God's signs. Breakthroughs often come when we least expect them. But with a heart aligned to God, we can recognize and embrace them fully. Let's close our eyes. Okay, let's close with a prayer. Let's bow down our heads together, asking God to open our eyes to His divine signs and to give us the strength to persevere. As we come to the end of today's journey, I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me in exploring the signs of breakthrough. According to Bible, Bible, life is a journey filled with ups and downs, but remember, God is always with us, guiding us and preparing us for the breakthroughs He has in store. We've discussed the importance of faith, patience, and trust. We've looked at power, powerful biblical examples, explored practical steps, and shared personal testimonies of God's faithfulness. I hope this has inspired you to keep your eyes open to the divine signs around you and to stay steadfast in your walk with God. Before we end today's vlog, let's take a moment to bow our heads and open our hearts in prayer. Let's invite God's presence and guidance as we seek to recognize and embrace the breakthroughs He has in store for us. Heavenly Father, we come before you with humble hearts, grateful for your endless love, mercy, and grace. We thank you, Father, for the wisdom and guidance you provide through your word, helping us navigate the challenges of life and recognize the signs of breakthrough. Lord Jesus, we ask that you strengthen our faith and patience, especially in times of trial and uncertainty. Help us to trust in your perfect timing and divine plan for our lives. Open our eyes and hearts to see the signs you place before us and grant us the courage to follow where you lead. Father God, we lift up our challenges, our trials, Lord, fears and doubts to you, knowing that nothing is impossible for you, Lord. Just as you parted the Red Sea for Moses, gave David victory over Goliath, and restored Job's, Job's fortunes, we believe that you can bring about miraculous breakthroughs in our lives as well. Father God, please, please teach us to remain steadfast in prayer, faithful in our walk, and devoted to your word. Lord Jesus, surround us with a community of believers that uplifts and sharpens us and let our lives be a testament to your amazing power and grace. Lord Jesus, we also ask for the discernment to recognize spiritual warfare and the strength to stand firm in your armor. May our worship and gratitude draw us closer to you and prepare our hearts for the incredible things you have planned. We thank you in advance for the breakthroughs that are coming, and we praise your holy name for the blessings we have already received. Help us, Father God, to live each day in a way that honors you, trusting that your plans are to prosper us and give us hope and a future. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. My besties, thank you for joining me in this prayer. Remember, God is always at work and breakthroughs often come when we least expect them. Stay, stay faithful, stay hopeful, and keep your eyes on Him. And if you found this vlog helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. Your support means the whole world to us, TSMA. And helps us reach more people with messages of hope and faith. 
Also, please feel free to share your own stories of breakthroughs in the comment section below. We would love to hear how God is working in your life. Until next time, may you walk in God's abundant blessings and experience the breakthroughs you have been praying for. Take care and God bless.